Now we have Nick, who will show us how to protect your data, protect your business, and deep dive into Atonix data uh, protection. Yeah. Go Thank ahead. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, as you said, my name is Nikolos Surmainza, which is like very hard to pronounce, so it's easier to call me Nick. And I'll be here on Atlassian Teams 23. You can approach me anytime regarding this application and anything regarding Actonic in general. So, today's presentation will be about data protection and security toolkit. So, we will take a deeper dive into the features of the product and I will show you what it can actually do. Uh, so, for the introduction, uh, this application is like a comprehensive uh, privacy and security enhancement for Jira and Confluence. So, it has many features like PII removal, user anonymization, customizable announcements, and much and many more. And it also has seamless in integration and support for any instance, like you can use it for Jira and Confluence, as I said, and you can use it for server version, for DC version, and also for cloud version. And these are like the uh, list of the features this, uh, this application actually has, but this is not the complete list. There is also like more it can actually do. So let, let's go by the features. Uh, we can anonymize everything like system fields, custom fields, filters, dashboards, any text field and more. So everything you can imagine, you can anonymize with our application. Uh, you can also notify users with our announcer module of the uh, of our application. You can also handle issues flexibly. For example, you can, instead of anonymization of the content, you can add comments to the tickets, you can restrict access to those, and you can also notify staff and many and much more. Uh, you can also transfer ownership of the content. So what does it mean is that you have a user A, uh, and user A is no longer working, for example, for your company, for your organization, and you want to transfer all the content from user A from to user B, you can actually do it seamlessly with our application in just a couple clicks. You can transfer everything from one user to another user. So you can also monitor permissions to avoid security breaches. Uh, what it means is that you can see who has the <clears throat> uh, sorry, who has the permission to the specific content uh, you are looking for and who gave that permission to that person. So you can see uh, the comprehensive list of permissions based on the projects and based on the groups. And also you can see the access statistics uh, of, uh, of those uh, tickets because uh, like for example you have uh, like a highly sensitive data leak or security breach and you can see uh, which content was accessed uh, when and by whom like with our application. Also we can get notified of uh, newly created sensitive data without searching. So um, also we can provide uh, built-in regular expression patterns or you can build your own. So what does it mean is that our data uh, protection and security toolkit has a data cleaner part, which is a content anonymization and also user anonymization. And we anonymize content based on the, on the regular expression. So we have a comprehensive list of regular expressions which were already created by us, which you can use. Or also you can build your own regular expression pattern and you can search for everything you want in your instance. And you can also schedule uh, your automatic regular searches. For example, you can search for content like on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, or on a monthly basis based on your preference of course. Uh, and also without anonymization, you can also search for any sensitive data to get the idea of what's happening in your instance, like in your Jira or in your Confluence instance, to get the idea that, yeah, I have like many sensitive data and I need to anonymize that. So without anonymization, first you can search and later you can anonymize. So uh, let's go to the next slide which is a uh, more detailed explanation of the data cleaner part and user anonymization part. So here you can see that there are a couple steps, like three steps to anonymize data or user with our application, but you can skip a couple steps. It's based on you or based on, <clears throat> sorry, your preference. So in this, in this case, you can see that uh, the first step is identification, where you should identify uh, your instance and what kind of PII your instance holds. For example, user data, user names, user IDs, credit card numbers, and etc. like any kind of PII there is. Uh, the second step is to review. So you can see uh, the actual report of your search 
of your scan or, or of your anonymization process even. Uh, you can see the report of it and you can see uh, what's going on in the re report, like how many PIIs are there, like how many items are to be anonymized uh, and later do the process. And the last step is of course anonymization step, where you can reduct, replace or uh, remo remove the items with our anonymization process. So you, actually you can skip uh, the first two steps and you can do the anonymization directly or at first you can just scan for it and see what's going on. You know, in your instance, it's actually up to you. Uh, the next module is announcements and notifications. So you can actually set up customizable announcements uh, for your instance, for your Jira or Confluence instance. What it means that you can create your own uh, privacy policies, you can pin that privacy policy in the footer, you can show some kind of a custom announcement uh, in uh, the Jira system itself, like in the center of the Jira system, or you can block actually access to the Jira or Confluence systems uh, without accepting some privacy policy or some terms. Make sure so it's very customizable. You can uh, put any content you want inside and you can also block any content you want without accepting those terms or those privacy policies. And it works for unauthorized users also, not only for the authorized users. So if you have a public instance, you can, uh, you can show the announcements to unauthorized users and you can block access to, for them if they do not accept your terms or your policies. Uh, the next part is the toolkit part of the application. So uh, we have user anonymization, we have data cleaner, so removing any kind of PII, and we have the announcer. Uh, in this case, we will be talking about the toolkit part of the application. So recurring tasks is working like automation, so you can automate most of the tasks with the recurring task options. But with permissions monitoring, uh, you can see who got the permission to access the exact content and who gave the permission to that person. With the access task statistics, you can actually see who accessed uh, the uh, project or, for example, page on Confluence uh, and when it actually happened. So with the profile visibility, you can see in general, uh, like in general, you can see the profiles of the users, but with the profile visibility, you can block uh, the profiles of the users. You can give them the ability to block it by themselves. And for the user export, it's a very simple but powerful solution, I think, and very interesting one because uh, you can export any kind of user from any group or from any project and you can filter it and you can search it. So it's like very easy but powerful uh, function for us. So you can export any kind of user from anywhere you want based on your filtering and preferences, of course. So what are the benefits? Like all of the parts of the application which I talked about just now in the presentation is part of one application. So we provide all of these features as part of the data protection and security toolkit. So it's available on Jira and in Confluence and on any server version. So you get the fully featured pack of uh, every single functionality which I listed with our application. And also, uh, the, with our application, you will have, in general, more control over your instances. Okay, we are back. Yeah. Uh, for the support resources, you can book one. Product, product demo, and you can, we can have a more deeper dive of the functionalities and more deeper dive of the product to see, like, what happening inside uh, each uh, functionality of our application. But we also have very comprehensive product documentation where you can see what our application does and without any support you can do it by yourself by reading the product documentation and uh, you're getting to know like what our application can actually do. And we also have dedicated customer support which will help you with any case you need. So this is it, thank you. Uh, and yeah, if you have any questions, please ask away. Thank you. Uh, may I miss it, but is there a read confirmation for the announcement? So you can say, yeah, for sure, uh, the guy was reading reading the new data protection policies or whatever. Mm. So you were asking if uh, you, you can see if someone accepted or declined the announcement. Right? Yes, of course you can see. You can have the full and comprehensive report of each announcement template you will be creating, like who accepted it, when it was accepted by that person, uh, and if there was any feedback also, you can see that in the comment line. Yep. Any other questions? 
All right. Well, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Give him a round of applause, please.